um hope you guys are doing good um thanks for making it um, to this final section um just a few things before we get into adding sounds so after the previous code um that was just from adding in the previous section we need to, to make a few changes to the initial code that we wrote so the first of that is you need to get rid of this line we don't need to add a new circle collider to our star when it spawns because the star already has a circle collider so this is making the physics um, to fire to fire two events because it's checking against two circles but in reality our circle let me just drag my star there you will see that our star already has a circle collider so there is no need of adding a new component for a circle collider we will have two in that case so get rid of this line so then after that um the way we wrote our code it's going to fail to load our scene um, because because the the on destroy code that we had uh, written uh, is here so it's going to complain saying we've already destroyed uh, this object so instead of putting this here cut it and put it inside the on collision enter right remember the reason we had moved it down was because the the code was firing twice the the stars were spawning twice the stars were spawning twice because we had two circle colliders um, now since we've removed that it will only be spawning once and since it's going to be spawning once then we can bring the code back in this original section so that uh, we gain a score and we spawn a new star then destroy the star after the player comes into contact with the star right yes so in this section we'll be adding sounds so after you guys have done those two so number one in the game script get rid of the uh, get rid of this code okay and then in the player script or rather the star script move this code that was in the on destroy section inside the on collision intersection if you've done those two then you are ready to continue so adding sound is pretty easy the folder has got these two um, sounds jump and score so we'll drag both of them here all right so we we'll have jump we'll press on it then we've got score all right so what we want to do is when the player jumps that sound plays when then when the player scores a point um, that sound also plays so we need to do uh, first thing we'll have to do is include a property here that's going to allow us to to collect that sound from the from the scene so cc dot audio clip audio clip cc dot audio clip then audio clip is going to have so we can call this one since this is going to be score so we'll say play score cc dot audio clip these are just properties so the audio clip is going to be equal to nothing right then what this does is on our canvas we've added a new property play score with audio clip right this one play score right so that's what we've done so we'll, we'll drag the score inside there so right now in short play score is equal to score.mp3 in short play score is equal to score.mp3 because this is pointing to that mp3 um, that we've added in there next 
inside here we can then call the audio engine cc.audioengine.play so there's many functions that audio engine has you guys try and look through them so this play play effect music okay uh, in this case we'll go with play effect and then we shall we shall play uh, the score and then set it to to false so that it does not uh, it does not repeat or loop the track so it will only play it once all right yeah so it takes in two parameters so when we do that you see that um, when we gain a score it should be able to play that sound okay okay so next up let's make the sound for the for this jump action that's going on so we need to find the function that's uh, making the player jump in this case it's set jump Right, so we'll add another property here. This property is cc dot uh, audio clip. The audio clip is the sound itself, right? So we'll say we'll call it what jump sound. Cc dot audio clip. So jump sound cc dot audio clip equals now, right? So what this does is on the player. On the player, we've added a property jump sound. So when we come to player, we'll find jump sound there, all right? So we come and drag jump the MP3 inside there. So we have our jump sound. So if this is done, then uh, we can then just go on and play it. So the function where the player jumps is here. So we need to add some code that's going to allow us to uh, to play. So we basically just create a callback function. So the CC, or maybe we'll just call it callback. In fact, let's just call it callback. I'll say my my callback. Okay. So my callback uh, will be equal to cc call function then this dot play this dot sound jump sound this dot jump sound yeah so it's going to run this dot jump sound Okay, so jump sound is going to be a function um, here. Okay, jump. In fact, this would be play. Okay, play jump sound. Play jump sound. Play jump sound. Okay, so play jump sound is going to be a function that just plays the sound right cc dot audio engine dot play effect then we'll be playing this dot jump sound and then we won't repeat it we'll put it on false so when that's done this is a callback that's calling this function and this function only plays the sound so all we need to do then is make sure when it jumps up then it jumps down all right after doing that we then run the function that plays the sound so the sequence will now be jump up jump down then play the the sound so this is now going to sound like that Right, so it's timing out if we don't, um, it's, this is what we wrote in, um, in the previous section, when, if we don't score uh, now, it, it's, it's going to end the game if we don't keep scoring fast enough, so the gameplay is only there, the moment I stop, 
moment I stop uh, catching the stars, the game ends because it times out. So that was the code in the previous uh, section um, with all of those uh, timing functions that we that we wrote in the game script. So I'm glad that you guys have been able to stick through it, and um, it's been quite uh, a long tutorial. Um, so yeah, glad that you guys have made it. Um, um, please just uh, leave a comment, um, like. Um, um, thanks uh, for for for. For sticking through it i will also be uploading the long version of this i'll compile all the videos into one long video and then um i'll, I'll, I'll put it up I'll just upload it um, for those of you who perhaps want um, one long video but like subscribe and support my work um thanks i'll be bringing more cocos creator stuff um not too long from now Yes, so thanks guys. Um, remember that I've got course coupons um, for my for my course. Some of them are free. Some of them are at uh, nine or ten dollars. Um, so just check through the description if you're interested in more Cocos Creator stuff um, on my Udemy um, instructor page. Um, you can look for Luembo Kasweshi or use the coupon links um, in the description. So I've got a number of tutorials from. I'll be having a number of tutorials actually um, so I've got an endless runner one that's coming up um, I've got one that goes through the fundamentals you need for Cocos Creator so uh, just look through the description they'll be updated as I add more more courses on creating different types of games so thank you very much